Hi, this is Pastor Fred. Have you ever thought about this question, how do we get to where we are today? I mean, what's going on in the country? Why is it that people are protesting in mass? Why is it that people trying to make their point heard and understood are willing to burn down buildings and destroy property, to pull down statues? Uh, why is it that the Black Lives Matter movement is so predominant right now? What ignited all this? How do we get to where we are? And of course, we could look at the death of George Floyd, the tragic death of George Floyd, uh, an event that which should have never happened, but that is a powder keg e event, which just has blown up. And I see it primarily in a lot of younger people saying, racism is wrong and it's gonna end, and they will go to any extreme uh, they deem necessary to get their message across. It has got to end. Of course, a lot of that is seen between police departments and people of color, but um, there's also this, this word in our vocabulary, systemic racism that we're hearing, that this impacts all areas of society. Um, even in how our governance, our system of governance works. Um, and so these are important issues. We, the church, are here to represent God. We've got to come up, what is the answer? How, how does God feel about this? For surely there is racism in our country. There is such a thing as white privilege. Um, I know, I mean, I'm part of that. And we've got to ask ourselves, what's our response? What does the Bible say about race? What does the Bible say about racism? What is the answer? When you get into a dialogue with other people, how do you respond to the criticisms that they may give you? Or how do you respond with, hey, here's the solutions that we need to uh, begin to implement? I'm gonna spend three weeks talking about this in my new series called One Blood, One Race. This will be July 19th, the 26th, and August 2nd. And if three weeks isn't long enough, I'll come back and continue it uh, into the fall. But this is, this is the issue of the day, and it deserves uh, attention. I, I'm really, as I prepare this series, I'm thinking about everybody born after 1990. I'm thinking about the youngest of our generation high schoolers, middle school students, you need the perspective that this series is gonna offer. Um, you know, it, it may be cliche, but Jesus does have an answer, and Jesus is in a large way the answer. But before we even come up to the answer, we gotta figure out what is the problem, how did we get here? This series is gonna trace through the impact of Darwinism that it's had on our culture. Um, from Darwinism, flowing into eugenics, and then flowing into even the activities associated with how this country is governed. So I'm, I'm excited about this. I think it's relevant, I think it's important, I think it's life-changing that this message goes out. I, I personally, I wish every church in the United States would be addressing this issue from the pulpit. Um, and I wanna, I wanna say this, as far as Black Lives Matter, I fully agree with that statement. I'm not sure I agree with the movement itself, and that's because I understand how we got here. And I think when we collectively can understand how we got here, we can begin to untangle racism sin. We can begin to untangle uh, the web that got us to this point and bring in perspective and understanding. So I do hope you join me. I'm looking forward to this. And can I, t can I ask you this? Get the word out, invite others as well. And if you're even a little bit skeptical about, man, I'm not sure I wanna bring them to church. I'm not sure I want them to live stream with me at 9 a.m. in the morning. Well, you go ahead and listen to it first. And I believe, I confidently believe that once you hear the messages that are gonna be preached, you're gonna say, hey, this has gotta get heard. This perspective needs to be understood for it is God's perspective that will be shared. God bless you, and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me.